What's good folks, Rudd's here. Today's soap review features Declaration Grooming Nefertiti. Declaration Grooming continues to be one of the most popular artisans in the uh, U.S. wet shaving uh, space. This one-man show out of Morency, Michigan is uh, quite well known for his soap, aftershave, colognes, uh, brushes, and hand-tied brush knotting services. Um, I think he's the only U.S. Uh, offering of uh, hand-tied brush knots at present. He's also quite well known for his collaborations with Chatillion Lux, a uh, aftershave maker and perfumer out of uh, St. Louis. And uh, they quite often team up on soap and aftershave combinations, and this happens to be one of their more recent offerings. Um, you can get the soap from Declaration Grooming and the aftershave from Chatillion Lux. In addition to ordering direct from Declaration Grooming, you can find his products at maggardrazors.com, westcoastshaving.com, top of the chain if you're in Canada, and the stray whisker if you're in Australia. So Nefertiti is a complex blend of honey, orchid leaf, jasmine, incense, immortal absolute, oud, vetiver, and musk. The fragrance itself was developed by Chatelian Lux, who is quite a uh, prestigious perfumer, if you will. To me, the scent opens sweet and floral, uh, more sweet than floral to my nose, before drying down to smoky vetiver and a really nice muskiness to it. I quite enjoy this scent, but as you'd suspect, Mrs. Rudd's does not approve of this. The musk dry down just doesn't do it for her at all. <clears throat> scent strength on this is mid-strong off of the container and remains mid-strong throughout the lather and shaving process. This is quite a unique scent and quite honestly, I don't want to do it any disservice by trying to compare it to anything I've smelt in wet shaving to date. You may recall from previous reviews, the uh, Declaration Icarus soap base consists of tallow, lamb tallow and goat's milk. We'll list all the ingredients below as we always do. This soap is mid firm on the firmness scale and is quite a thirsty soap. Still easy to lather, you just have to work it. The artisan actually suggests blooming the soap to uh, ensure proper hydration. I prefer just to hit it with a uh, damper than normal brush during my loading. When you do get it dialed in, the consistency will resemble sour cream. Low structure, nice density, beautiful sheen to it. Slickness is elite, both primary and residual slickness. And if you've been around long enough, you'll also know that uh, post-shave is elite. You can easily skip aftershave care when using the soap base without fear of your skin drying out or or being tight or irritated. Given my experience with the soap base, 
in the metrics just discussed. Declaration Icarus receives a shave score of 96. For similar performing soaps, I'd suggest you check out Ariana and Evans or Holy Cow's Bafala Soap Base. What a nice face shave today with the uh, Declaration Grooming Chatillion Lux Nefertiti. I'll uh, finish the shave off off camera with the uh, matching aftershave splash. Big thanks to Bravor from Instagram who uh, loaned me this set at a uh, local meetup we had recently. I appreciate it, sir. Hope you'll uh, have the opportunity to check out Declaration Grooming products as well as Chatillion Lux. Uh, both fine members of this community with uh, great product offerings. As always, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Comment below if you have anything to say. And if you're not already a subscriber, please become one. See you.